Hey guys and welcome back to my world. Now today I'm going to be doing a video that has been asked, you guys have asked for quite some time. This is a tutorial on how I make my thumbnails uh, for Minecraft. Right, so first thing you want to do is you want to go to something called minecraft.novaskin.me. This is a free online editor for Minecraft skins and it does quite a few cool funky little things. Now first off at the top you'll see you've got gallery, where, tags, background and pose. So all we're really interested in is gallery, background and pose. First thing you want to do is you want to search for your username. Okay, so I'm going to drag us. You'll see I've had quite a few. So this is the latest kind of iteration of my skin. So um, okay, so once I've got that, you'll now see that if I left click outside and hold it in, so I left click and drag, I am able to actually look at my avatar from all in three dimensions. Okay, first thing I want to do, I want to go to background and then you can change this background to be anything you really want it to be. Okay, anything, anything at all you want it to be. But what I want to do is I've already created a, uh, a background that is just pure blue. Okay, so it's just a straightforward blue background, which allows me to very, very easily remove it. Okay, so that's it. We've got the background sorted. The next thing you want to do is pose. Now, if you click on pose, you'll see there's a, pre a few preset poses already that you can use. Okay, and then you'll see there's a random, for example, a random pose. Now, you obviously need to kind of think about what it is you want to do before you do this. Right, but because this is kind of a, a you know ad hoc thing, I'm going to just show you very, very basically. Choose a design I kind of like. So I'm just going to go through all of the uh, the random ones till I find something that, that kind of looks cool. Um, that kind of looks cool. No, not yet. Um, let's just see. Let's click on it again and again. Uh, and again, uh, that doesn't look cool. Right. That, that has potential. So let's no, 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 this is not, this is not what I'm after. That's not what I'm after. Okay. Um, the thing is, you can actually click on um, the kind of the custom one here and you can then just drag it as you want. But I found that to be quite glitchy at times. Um, so it doesn't really kind of work for me as much. So I'd prefer to find one that very easily that I can just quickly configure. So let's just go with. Let's just go with this one. Okay, let's go with this one. So now on the left hand side, you've got various things that you can do. You can actually bend, you know, you can, by using the sliders, you can actually create various other effects. So you can actually manipulate the body. But you need to be careful. When you change your view, the view quite often resets the whole thing, which is a bit annoying. So if I do that, you'll see it kind of resets it. Okay, so I'm going to just keep this view for where I am. It's a very minor change. Did that reset it? Yes, no, it's fine. Okay, so that's that. That. So the next thing I want to do, my head. So let's lift my head up a bit. Maybe give it a bit of a, bit of a twist towards you guys. Then on my right arm, I'm going to lift it up a bit more. But importantly, I'm going to actually bend it. So I'm going to bend the arm. So you see there, it actually reset itself. So this is one of those little annoyances that you're going to have to get kind of get used to. It seems that the bending kind of does cause issues with a lot of things okay uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm also gonna put some weapons in my hand so I'm actually going to put axes so let me just put uh, steel axes in my hand right so this arm is now like that so let me just bend this arm a little bit out of the way so it looks like I'm I'm actually holding the holding it so let me just I'm just gonna take this out and reset it okay and put it back again because sometimes as I said this it's quite it's quite a bit glitchy at at the best of times. There we go. All right, that's cool. So let me just bend my other arm as well, left arm bending, just to bring it in a bit. It just makes it look a bit cooler. Okay, and I'm just going to remove that weapon as well. So because it is, it kind of, as I said, it, it glitches a lot. But it, with a bit of patience, you can actually get something half decent. Right, and then I'm just going to do my legs. I'm going to bend my legs. So I'm going to go right leg bending, just giving it a little bit of a bend, just so that it's not quite so straight. And I'm going to bend my left leg as well, a little bit. Cool, so there I kind of have a pretty decent image. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use an image capture. Um, I'm on a Mac, so I do Control shift 4 and it allows me to actually select it. Um, I'm not sure what you, you can use various other programs on Windows to actually do the same thing, but it's uh, it's Command Shift Four will allow me give me that little thing over there. So once I have that, you can then actually go and maybe do a different pose. So just change your camera angle, all right, and just do Control Shift Four. Oh, see that now actually changed changed it. So let me just quickly put the leg bending back a bit. As I said, it's a bit glitchy. Um, 
to the point of being quite annoying, but sometimes it is okay. All right, so let me just bend the arm again, give it a bit of a bend, like so, and I'm just going to bend the right arm just so I can kind of, no, that's the wrong, wrong, that's the rotation of the item, and let me just bend the arm, like so, and let me just change it so that I can actually see what's going on like that. But will this reset it? Yes, it reset it. So see, so it says when you change your um, when you change your viewpoint, it actually resets it. So you've got to be careful with that. Okay, so you need to get your viewpoint first before you actually make any changes. So there, and let me just do the body. I just want to, I just want to bend the body a bit as well, just in like so. Let's see, but now I can't actually see if I now change the view, like so. Okay, Control Shift. So sorry, this Command Shift Four on a Mac. Ah, I just use it as it is. Okay. That's it. So we kind of have two pictures now. Now the next thing you want to do, you want to go to a website called pixlr.com forward slash editor. So pixel.pixlr.com .pixel editor. This will actually give you a kind of a Photoshop-like interface for um, for Minecraft or for, for sorry to do to edit images. So I'm going to go uh, first of all open image from computer. Now you need to go to where you've saved your screenshot. So I've saved the screenshots directly to the desktop. Okay, so I'm going to, let me see which one am I going to use. Um, I'm going to use, that one is cool. So this is some of the other ones I did before. So that one is cool. So we'll use the one we created just now. So I'm just going to double click and open it. So it's actually opened it up now. But I also need to create a, a blank canvas one. So I'm going to go to a uh, new image. Okay, so I'm going to change these pixels to be um, ready for video. So I'm going to change it over here to 1280 by uh, uh, by 720. Okay. And okay. Right. So this is now the actual size of your uh, of a small the smallest version of HD. Okay. So it's 7 720 by 1280. Okay, um, now I'm going to click on this image over here, and on the left hand side, you'll see where it says background on the layers. I'm going to click and drag that into this image over here. Okay, so you'll see I now have a new, I've now moved that image into this over here. Then on the left hand side, you'll see I have uh, a little magic wand. Now, if I have this image selected, the background copy over here, and I click with a wand. Okay, you'll see it selects the blue. I then hit the delete key, okay, and you'll see I now have my image over there. So you'll see that I probably just need to get rid of that there as well. Okay, so I have my image over there. Right. All I then need to do is on the right hand side add a new layer, drag that layer to be underneath the, the background copy. So let's just quickly, can I rename this? Right click. Uh, no, I can't. How, how do I see? I, I don't. Okay. I don't know how to rename this. Um, anyway, doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Right, so now with the layer 2 selected that's empty, we then want to go and get a gradient tool. Or you can, I mean, you can do anything. You can, for example, if you want to, um, if you have your own background you want to make or so forth, you'll see my, I use, I use um, gradients for my background just because it's kind of, yeah, the thing that I kind of now do. So you can do radial over here. So you can, so let's just do a, let's just do a radial thumbnail like so. Okay, let's just maybe change the colors as well. If you click on that, you'll see you can have all different kinds of colors. So mine is, uh, it's not one of these actually, but just, just make it like, oh, no, I don't want to do a blue one. No, I don't want to do blue. Why? No, 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 go away, go away. Um, I have to just delete that one and delete that one, delete that one. There we go. Right, so just make this one a bit more bit more white. It's not white enough for my liking. So just drag and play. Now keep it in the yellows, but we're just gonna make it much more whiter. Okay. That's a let's see. Right. Uh now that I've got that I can now just do there we go. It's not quite what the way my thing looks normally, but let's just do it like that. So let's actually I'm just gonna pose okay, so let me select the background copy on the back there. I'm gonna hit the V key to give me an arrow. Okay, I'm going to put my thing there. Actually, let's make it bigger. So I can go to um, Adjustments. Um, where is it? So it's Edit. Sorry, it's Edit Free Transform. So Edit Free Transform. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. 
like so. Okay, uh, then I'm going to once again go to my gradient on the right hand side. I'm going to click on my layer two and I'm going to just give myself something like that. Uh, let's just do it like that. Okay, and just hit the V key gives me my arrow again. Right, so that's kind of the start of uh, of it. So all I now need to do is, for example, add text. If I want to say um, how to make a YouTube thumbnail. All right, and once again, I can do all kinds of things with this. I can change the size of it. Uh, I can make it bold. So I'm just gonna do OK here. All right, I'm gonna go in there. Can I edit this now? Where is on the left hand side? There's my tool. Okay, so I'm gonna do that like. Oopsie, and I'm going to enter how to make a YouTube thumbnail. All right, and then the top one I'm actually going to make smaller. Right, oh, but it makes it makes all right. Okay, I am going to right click on the on the light right hand side, and actually no, I'm going to go Control Command C or Control C and Control V. Can I do that? Control Copy Control V. Control Copy Control V. No, I can't do that. Hmm, how do I duplicate this now? Uh, duplicate layer, sorry, right click on it and duplicate layer. So I now have a duplicate layer. I'm going to remove this how to how to make. Okay, I'm going to remove that. I'm going to make this whole thing bigger. Right, like so. Uh, hit the V key, which allows me to then move this around again. Uh, and on the right hand side, select how to make. This time I'm going to edit this as well. I'm going to take that out. I'm going to take out the YouTube thumbnail. Oops. Right, just so that I have a. Oops, how to make a YouTube thumbnail. thumbnail B. Right. Like so. Then the next thing we want to do is maybe add something. So let's just add a creeper. So you want to go into Google or Bing or whichever search engine you want and you want to say creeper Minecraft um, image. Okay. So we're going to go to there, there. Then we're going to go to images. So we're going to click on images over here, which will bring us bring up a whole bunch of creeper images. Then select an image. Um, for example, this one is okay. Be careful. So these are some of these are user generated, and you will probably need to have uh, the the rights. So you need to at least ask the pe person who created these if you can if you can use it. Uh, for things like this, where this is a creeper, I mean, this is not. This is in in game footage. Mojang allows you full use to use that. Okay, so I'm going to click on that. On the right hand side here, you've got view image. Okay, uh, so that exactly that's exactly what it is. I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go. Um, uh, where is this? So save image, copy image, copy 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 image URL. Okay, so I'm going to copy image URL. I'm going to go back into here. I'm going to go file uh, new im new image. No cancel. F Oh no, what did I do? What did I just do? Okay. I'm going to file uh, open image URL. I'm going to paste my URL on there. Okay. It's going to get the image for me. So once again, once I'm in here on the right hand side, I'm going to select that layer and just drag it into this image. Okay. And then I can just go edit. So once I've selected that image there, edit, and I'm going to go free. Uh, free ed oopsie no and we're gonna edit free transform and then I'm just going to drag this up like so right okay right um, um, okay I'm just gonna move this up like so so next thing I'm just gonna reorder these so that my two words are at the, at, at the top like so um, and then I'm going to just move them just so I can move them up a bit, um, like so, and move them up. And then it really just comes down to you playing with this and, and adding things and whatever you want. I mean, for example, you can add a new layer, like so. Okay. Now, this tool is slightly is limited because, after all, this is a web-based tool. So it's not going to give you all the amazing things like, for example, Photoshop would do. But for, let's say, for example, I want to add a, a shadows over here. So I can go and hit the pencil tool. Uh, I can hit the make the opacity of this, let's say, 50, if, yeah, about halfway. I'm going to give it quite a big size. Okay. Um, I'm going to make the 
yeah, the color black is fine. So let me just drop this opacity even more, like like 19. And then making sure that I've got the layer that's below uh, the things that I want to put the shadow for, I can then go and just color in, color it in, creating a kind of a shadowy effect, giving it a bit more of a 3D feel than just, you know, it's sticking out, out like that. Obviously, go and have a look at shadows to see what shadows will look like. So we can also then give the creeper a bit of a shadow, like so. Okay. Um, yeah, I and mean, just go go and go and kind of play with it. I mean, we can now also, let's say, um, having uh, keeping this the sketchy tool. If we now do maybe do a white version of that, uh, no, do a white. Come on, do a white version of that. Uh, just up the size maybe a little bit more. Do the opacity a little bit more. Uh, we can then kind of go and do a YouTube over here like so, and so. How to do a YouTube thumbnail? Right, so yeah, I can't really actually make this, this smoother. But if you zoom in, so you can see if you can zoom in, you've got all those little blue lines. Now, what you can do is you can take a, a brush. So let's just take the op opacity is fine. And make the brush a bit smaller, okay? Um, and then you can just get rid of that blue. But let's completely just make that smaller. Let's make it uh, twenty. Yeah, that should do it. And then you can just run over it and just slightly take out the blue. Okay, I mean, this is all kind of really up to you how you want to do this. Right, I personally use Photoshop, but I thought I'd, what I'm going to show you is actually how to do this free online. All right, so I mean, you, as you can see, you can really play play with that a lot. Um, you can also play with the levels. If you hit uh, Control or Command L, which allows you to push up the levels of this, so you can actually see you can make your image nice darker, make it stand out a bit. Uh, so I'm just make that like so and bring up the white a bit more. Okay, um, you can also do Command U or Control U, which will bring up the U and saturation. So what you can do is just kind of you know change the color as well as you want, and if if and have, have, as you want, right? Um, but yeah, I mean that that kind of looks kind of looks kind of cool. Okay, so let me just do a brush again a bit here. Oops, that's a brush. Sorry. Um, I'll just do the pencil over here again. I'm just going to actually make the size of the pencil big. Okay, much bigger than it is. And just, just do this thumbnail thing over here again. And just sketch this out. There we go. Um, yeah, I mean, this is probably not the best, best tutorial, but this will kind of give you an idea of how to very quickly and easily make uh, your thumbnails look quite pretty damn awesome. If you wanted a background for that, so let's say I do, let's see if I've got Minecraft open somewhere. I don't have Minecraft open, but let's say you did have, oh, actually, you did have, so let's say I have file, uh, open image, open image, okay. I do actually have one from, uh, that I use for Minecon. So if we go to, um, uh, just go here, desktop, so I go to Minecraft movies and I go to my Minecon. No, that's not the panel images, that's the one, that's the one we want. Uh, so we, you'll see if I can find a decent. So let me see if I, let me see if I can find something cool. Um, so let's just let's use that one. So just to show you, you can use that one as well. So I'm going to use that one. Once again, it puts it in there. Uh, I'm going to just make this a bit smaller so I can grab it. And as we did before, we're going to grab the icon on the left hand side, under, on the right hand side, under layers, and I'm just going to drag and drop it in here. And then I'm going to move it to underneath my layer that had my shadows on it right see and that's another way you can do it so you can have the color like I did before or you can you know add your own own images like so uh, but if I do I'm gonna use this one I'm gonna go like that and I'm gonna go edit free free transform and then just transform this into something a bit better a bit better right guys that is it it's very yeah it's the pro getting to know this program is a bit difficult, but if you used Photoshop before, you should be fine. But do go play around with it, it can make some fantastic, fantastic things. Okay, guys, this is it. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, I will check you all later.